Hey guys, so it's here bringing you another video. Welcome back to the main account. Uh, we're at Diamond Two Zero LP. I might, if I'm, if I clicked recording at that time, I'll include, I'll include the funny noise and sticker. Um, we're playing Gragus Jungle. Um, that you may recognize. I don't know if you can see, but the Gwen is the Darius from last game. I think it was last game. Um, where they were, there are Darius one trick. Um. I was Darius banned? Oh yeah, Darius is banned. Okay, so that's why they can't play Darius. It's because Darius was banned. Um, they have a singed mid against Cap. Presumably, that means Cap probably can do nothing. Because I don't think a Cap will win a 1v1 against Singed, and Singed also is good at roaming, so. Again, I didn't ban Katarina once again because it was hovered. I, I I will literally ban that champion every single game, but if a teammate hovers it, I won't ban it. And again, just to explain that principle, because I know some people are like, you know, if you don't like their champion, why do you not ban it even? I don't like Katarina, but most Katarinas are one tricks. It statistically, like she's the most one trick champion in league. So if you ban Katarina when your teammate is hovering it, the chance is they're a one trick. And if you ban out a one trick on your own team, you're just going to lose the game. Like one tricks in the nicest way possible, only play one thing. They're only good at one thing. So if you ban out your own teammate on their one thing, you've just lost the game anyway. Yeah, yeah. Someone in Twitch had just said they are a one trick. I mean, you, we know they are. Every cat practically is a one trick. I don't know what about that champion makes people one trick it so much but is she trying to force herself to go top i have no idea yeah what do you what do you guys think hey winfang 36 months three year sub club from winfang hell yeah winfang the goat on to the fourth hell yeah winfang again for those that may remember our um jurassic world evolution series we did a few years ago winfang we named every goat in the uh, feeding enclosures was called winfang and uh, we we kept zooming in and watching winfang get et by t-rexes and stuff it was quite enjoyable xyphus cafe as well thank you so much for the 29 months with prime so yeah winfang the goat Hey, Creeper. First, no. What? How? Oh, yeah, and then I enclosed a goat, and I was like, right, you'll have your own enclosure. And then the goat escaped. Also, just a little tip for everybody. It's something that, again, I'm actively trying to get better as a player. And I'm going to be completely honest. I, a lot of the time, don't pay attention to the like the tiny little nuances in play anymore. Did she steal my blue? Yeah. She stole my blue. Kind of into that. Again, that's the Darius one trick, so they're probably not going to be very good on other picks. It's the nature of obviously one tricks, as we mentioned. That's why I don't ban out a cat arena if they hover it, it's because they're not going to be good on something else. Anyway, sorry, the thing that I was going to say that I've learned recently is, and I know some people are going to go, Huz, I knew that from the beginning. I don't pay attention, as I've said a few times. Singed. Oh, Caitlyn's positioning. That was so bad. Wow, she should have just flashed. That's sloppy by the Caitlyn. Again, the one thing I will say, Singed is very annoying because he's basically a Katarina on steroids. What I mean by that is they really don't care for lane. They just rogue. Anyway. Um, your jungle pet obviously helps you clear things. And when you attack a different jungle thing it attacks 
If I attack that, it will attack the jungle pet. If I attack that, it'll then attack again. So if you actually swap target, especially when it comes to something like um, raptors, it makes you clear quicker. Nice. It makes you clear a lot quicker if you attack different things. You swap your target. Yeah. Fuzzy top tip. They're running it down. Executed. Oh my god, he got executed. That was some of the worst play that we've seen for a while. <laughs> so like here, if I attack that, then I attack the little... I attack the big one. Attack that one. Again. So I'm actually doing more damage now, so it's hard to show. But especially for your first clear, you should kind of swap different targets. Is a, it'll be a singed one trick too. People don't play singed mid if they don't one trick it. It's a very niche play style. Some could say they started on Katarina and then progressed to singed. Hey Zelge! Yeah, we're being a goblin chat. I think how fed I'll be on my first base. Kindred's top? Why are you top? How is Olaf like kind of behind? You knew Kindred was there. You knew Kindred was there. You dead? Oh my god, that's so bad. We literally had vision of Kindred and he died. How? Wow. That Singe must be playing really bad to be solo killed by a cat. I, I don't see. I know Katarina's damage is higher than you think, but still. I'm still surprised that a Katarina's killing a Singe. I'm going to gank bot lane in a second. Oh, they are really low. Do you think they'll commit? So boring. I heard Lucian flash as well. Why are you pinging me, bro? I've helped you in the early game. You should be stomping. What is us have what is up today with having laners that we help and then they end up getting beat anyway? Yeah, see, you can just run and kill them. There you go. Why are you moaning at me? Are you still mid? I can't do Dragon Olaf. My our bot lane is really bad. I'd love to do Infernal Dragon. Can't do Infernal Dragon when they have a 3 0 Lucian. We're going to just die. Olaf just raging like a good one without actually looking at the game. It is honestly very funny things that would come into the stream. For those that are watching on YouTube, or if you're new to the stream, Zelge is a big community member of ours, and he comes and says hello in the chat, and then he also, I think, he at 
chats. A lot of people in the chat who are the regulars in the stream. So Zeld will say hello, and then like you won't see him talk for a minute or two, and then a big message comes through of him saying hello to a lot of people. It's really funny. Couldn't get it. I tried. That was a really close smite. Wait, Ash died? What? Why did Ash die? My bot lane is 0 and 4 right now. Oh, very annoying. Just don't know what I can do. How am I going to gank this lane? The only way that we can gank this lane, I'd say, is if we have Ash Arrow. They're not even level 6 yet, so we can't. Got nothing to farm. What do I do now? Didn't want to go back yet, because I'm 50 gold off that. So I may as well wait. Is AP Zaka thing? Not really. Why is he so squo? Okay, I can wait. I know why Singe is dying. He's stupid squishy. I don't even understand why you'd build full AP on Singe mid. You're not playing it as a, for a carry. You're playing it to mega roam and get other people ahead. So this is just a build issue. Hey, Dobby. All right, we got Night Harvester, so our damage has gone up, which is nice. Might look for top lane gank. I know the Olaf has been annoying, but I still think it's a relatively free gank. The Olaf was blaming me for not getting dragon, but not realizing how far behind our bot lane is. So I'm putting a ward there because, again, this is Kindred's mark. So she technically wants to come kill this. But we obviously are denying that. Gwen AFK? I think I just saw, yeah, she's just... They're not as comfortable when they're not on Darius. Dude. A bot lane are getting beat by the same exact gank every single time. They're never warding for it or like preparing for it. It's really odd. This is annoying. Zero six bot lane. Zero three, it doesn't matter anyway. You could ping someone's KD. Shush. Yeah, I wouldn't play Ash support anymore. That that. It seems it's just fallen away. If you want to play an AD carry like that support, just play Senna. Miles better. Well, she should be dead. She hasn't got ult. Trinity Force? Really? Wahoo Vom! 34 months of Prime says the rare birthday resub. Hope you've been good. Oh, happy birthday, my dude. Hope you're doing well. Hopefully you have a nice day. Good food. Appreciate you stopping by.
don't think I can get to the dragon. Maybe I should have based in time, but also with um, Ash going top lane and Olaf top lane, we were going to be outnumbered on this anyway, so I doubt we were going to get it. Caitlyn, again, again, you're falling for the same thing again. How many times can this Caitlyn fall for the exact same play? Jesus Christ. Here we go, here we go. Ah, arena! Oh my god, Katarina. Katarina, you literally... Uh, she literally just stuck because didn't come to the plague. Kindred was stuck here. Oh! I can't believe she didn't move at the right time. And then if she moved at the right time, we would have killed Kindred. And then we would have probably been completely fine. But she just didn't move. She had no mana. Yeah. I love how I'm getting pinged. We've actually had a pretty damn good game and I'm getting pinged. All right, everyone's getting muted. I literally have stopped caring because we, we play good. We help people. I cannot help a Caitlyn that is doing the exact same thing every single time and just dying to the same play. Because apparently she doesn't know how Singed works. Just crazy. Uh, also, Christine, thank you much for the uh, two months of Prime. It's crazy. I don't think I can commit to doing Rift. I'd like to. I might try it. But if Lucian comes over, if Lucian and Seraphine come over, we're just dead. I think we have to stop doing this. Shifted Josh, 10 months of tier one. Thanks, dude. Let's go. Uh, oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh my God, my Q. I CC'd. I'll read out your name momentarily, my dude. Thank you very much. Caitlin, by the way, is pushing bot. And gonna die to the 05 Gwen, probably. Um, sorry, back lagan. Thank you, dude, for the first ever gifted sub in the channel. I appreciate that. Oh well, that spawned first. So again, because obviously I've got my 1200 smite, we, after killing this red, will actually drop another red. So I get one and also someone else does. But every champ, every jungler now has got basically old Ivan mechanic. So you can see, there it is. Honestly, Katarina should probably go pick that up, but I imagine the Caitlyn is going to. Should have stayed for one more camp because then I could have got the large rod as well. Hey, Wesserax. What's she doing?
Please don't just chase the singed. Why did Lucian just go into me? Don't think he realized I'm a very, very, very fed Gragas. GG. Crowfoot with a gifted sub too. Thank you very much, dude. We need to get this dragon. Sin just flashed. Die. This singed is odd. Caitlyn came over quicker, but she was stuck mid lane for no reason. This is so frustrating to play with. Players that are insanely tilted and shouldn't keep playing. Oh. Jesus Christ. Ah, uh, she misplayed that. Should get dragon now though. Whee. Oh my god, I thought he nearly stole it. Well, he nearly stole it. I thought he did steal it. Here's Caitlyn. This is crazy, dude. If Olaf can get on top of the Lucian, you'll kill him. And Singed. Yeah, okay, just back away now. Kindred's gonna go back there. Yes, uh... I don't know if I should have just backed out quicker. Like, I wanted to kill the Kindred, which I think I did. But it cost me because Lucian obviously got there. If I... The job would have been good just to get rid of the Kindred and then she couldn't have come over to the Dragon. So I think if I were to replay that in a better way, not dying and just making her have to back away probably would be better. Why are so many people obsessed with that at the moment, Necromancer? You're like the fifth or more person in the like the last week. Really odd. Game's hard. Game's hard. But Caitlyn wasn't really involved in the fight. But Lucy has to back away. If I had flash in that fight, I think we would have maybe like I might have. Well, I would have survived longer. I don't know if I would have survived. Survived. It would have been close. Yeah, my name is John Cena. Bum, ba, dum, bum. Lucian seems strong. I mean, he just snowballed the early game. So, by the way, so some people that think, oh, Katarina's doing a dumb thing. She's taking it and then you won't get one too. Nope. So because my smite is maximum, she gets a red and I do. I'm the only one now that can go pick that up. Yeah, guys, look, my name is John Cena. You can't. Sorry. <laughs> you get it? 
You get it? Our whole team just got slaughtered. Dude, I played that so well, though. Let's go. Come on, you guys have to do something good. Are you not going to do anything good? No. You're going to let the Gwen, who's really weak, kill you? Okay. What happened to Olaf and Kat? They just ran it. Dude, this game is so hard, and it shouldn't be. Ugh. We're playing really good. But it doesn't matter. They're doing barren. <sighs> oh my god, yeah, Ash does not have a complete... Well, she's got that, but she hasn't got a completed legendary. We have to fight for the dragon. Please get in there, Katarina. Oh, this Katarina didn't do anything. Nice. Work together, lads. No, they don't do any damage. Oh, for God's sake. We lost that fight and Gwen wasn't even there. We're so weak. We, li we literally just don't have any strength in our bot lane at all. Uh, uh, oh, well, we lose another game. Cannot carry. That was a really good pick on the Seraphine. It's a shame that we didn't have enough follow-up damage for her to die without ult. But we just had no teammates following up as usual. Feels by me. I don't know what we can do. Our support kind of sucks, but the Caitlyn has played this game really terribly as well, so you can't really discount that. It's not all the Ashes' fault. I don't think Katarina needed to actually commit that hard. Indra's top lane, by the way. I actually don't know why she's top. She probably shouldn't be, but she is. The enemy team is that far ahead. It doesn't really matter if they're not technically doing the right thing. Ash nearly died again. Shields are so strong. Oh, we just can't help enough for oh, this Caitlyn. <laughs> you just can't carry that. It's impossible. Oh, that is such a shame. They both just turned. I'm dead. Game over. 
There's nothing we could do. We played so well as well. Well, in the early game, we played amazing, but it's just the way that my games go. It just doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter. I don't know what I can do. We play really good, but then our bot lane feeds. And then the annoying thing for this level of play, they fed to the exact same play every time. God damn. It's annoying, but again, what can you do about it? So Lucian does 39,000 damage and our Caitlyn does 17. Nice. <laughs> nice. Anyway, uh, let's look at the load of my dude. Oh. So this guy doesn't even play Lucian. Doesn't play Gwen. Obviously, that's the Darius one trick. They were pretty bad, to be fair. One trick Katarina. Also a Smurf, probably a botted account. Again, Olaf, probably a botted account. They're, every game, there's like level 30, level 40 accounts that have no ranked experience. Probably all botted. Oh, it's so frustrating. So I look you at the moment, I will say, and I know people will be like, how's oh, you being negative? I'm trying to be positive, but just as an overarching thing, not even talking about game design or balance or anything, it feels bad because of how out of control Riot have let the crazy accounts get. Every single game, and I don't know if you guys are experiencing the same thing, every single game has one. This game has four fresh accounts that have all been bought for a euro, and it's just mental. Every single one. The Singed is one of them. He's played a lot more games, but he's level 55, fresh ranked account, probably bought. Olaf, level 39, fresh account, no ranked history, probably bought. Karin is the same, and Gwen is the same. It's just depressing because it's just the games don't feel the way that i would describe it these don't feel like the rating of the game that you're supposed to be in like this is supposed to be a diamond two ish game this doesn't feel like a diamond two game it just becomes a complete fiesta because you have different rating smurfs all over the shop like dare i say and i know this is probably something that i probably wouldn't have said last year dare i say they might need to bring smurf q pack because Smurf Q had its negatives, which were if you were an old person coming back to League of Legends after playing a year or two, you'd potentially be put in to Smurf Q when you're not a Smurf. That is a negative. But this is every single game. How many people are coming back to League and then accidentally being put into Smurf Q? Probably not that many. Every single game is now having multiple level 30 fresh accounts bought like every game it's just crazy so what i'll do if i look at two accounts in this game i'm gonna scroll down and just see just see if we're like if it's the exact same thing that's been happening so i'm gonna look at the katarina account so the katarina account has no ranked history past 109 days ago of playing katarina getting very fed their first game some people might be like oh that seems it might be okay then Potentially, that is an account that got leveled on a different server. And this is something also people do, by the way. They buy an account on a different server, then transfer it to EU West. So it doesn't look susp as suspicious because if you transfer an account, oh, it's got no match history. You know, oh, it's fine. It doesn't have a match history because it's been transferred. But it, they're hiding a match history of just intro botted level leveling games. That's why they buy an account on a different server and then transfer it to a, the, the server they want. It's to hide that or try to hide it because it doesn't stick with you in the match history. And our laugh account is exactly the same. Yeah, kind of annoying. But anyway, um, sorry, I just had to go on a bit of a tangent because it is just every game and it's just becoming a bit annoying now. Obviously, it's worth saying the Olaf or the Katarina technically didn't lose us these games. It was our bot lane. But every game, you're just noticing these level 30 accounts and it's just... It's just getting a bit annoying. Why doesn't the history follow? It just, it just never has. Just the way that it's basically they treat it as a new account, so it's a new match history. Anyway, that's going to be it. We played really good. We did some really clean Grag Assault and Gragas players around the Kindred getting her out of royalty and stuff, but we were so far behind in a few aspects of the game and I couldn't go, you know, Olaf was spamming me, do Dragon. I could not do Dragon this game because of how weak our bot lane was. If I started Dragon we would have just died. That's the problem. 
But anyway, that's going to be it. If you enjoyed the game for what it was, some nice Gragas plays, do throw a like on it, throw a comment, throw a subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Call down the reckoning to bring back hope and peace. Restore our glory to live forever. Bring down the dark regime. I know how to unleash eternal